Well, you're right, guys. Hope you're all okay out there. Today we're doing prawn crackers. Not prawn crackers from a bag or a takeaway, or prawn crackers from little discs that you chuck in a deep fat fryer. I'm making them from scratch. And all we've got for this is prawns, tapioca flour, and a little bit of MSG, pepper, and baking powder. You can use salt if you want to. This is thanks to Nigel Muddy Boots. He said, ooh, some prawn crackers would go nice with that sweet and sour chicken. I just had to go and make some prawn crackers, didn't I? Okay then, here we go. First off, blitz the prawns or the shrimp, whichever you're using. I'm using 150 grams of prawns. And this will be enough for two people, I'd say. Give it all a good blitz in. You want to make it quite a thin, a thin slurry, is that a word? Yeah, get it all minced up really, really well. And when it's finely minced, in with the tapioca flour. You can use cornstarch, corn flour if you want to. But it is traditionally made with tapioca flour, so who am I to break tradition? And we're making a 50-50 dough here. So whatever the weight of the prawns was, that's the weight of the tapioca flour. In my case, 150 grams of each. And like any dough, just keep checking it. Add a bit more water if it's too dry, and a bit more flour if it's too wet. You're trying to end up with a kneadable dough in the end. And this is it. Onto the work surface and knead it into a ball. And it was quite sticky, so I needed to put down quite a bit more tapioca flour. I needed to put flour down for the kneading. <laughs> Only need it for two or three minutes just to get it all combined again. Form it into a ball, just check it's all nice and elastic. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then roll it into a sausage. About one and a half inches, what's that, 40 millimetres, 37 millimetres diameter. And we're going to steam it. So line your steamer with a bit of greaseproof paper, a bit of parchment paper, put your sausage in and steam for about 40 minutes. I'm using the Sage Fast Slow Pro here. Good bit of kit actually. What it can't do isn't worth talking about, you know what I mean? <laughs> And here we are, 40 minutes later. Whew. Carefully take the sausage out of the steamer, let it cool down totally, and then wrap it up in cling film and put it in the fridge. 12 to 24 hours. I did 24 hours. At the moment it's almost jelly-like, it's very very pliable. Put it in the fridge and it will set. Make it easier to carve tomorrow. And as you may have guessed it is now tomorrow. Out of the fridge and it is almost, not solid, but rubber. It's almost like rubber. And what we're going to do now is thinly slice it. As thin as you can. I had every intention of slicing this with my mandolin, but my poor old mandolin is a bit old now. It's an old style one with a flat blade. It couldn't handle it. So I resorted to the cook's knife and sliced up to one millimeter, two millimeter slices. It only took two minutes. Just goes to show that the old tools are often the best. They may not be a classic prawn cracker shape, but what is a classic prawn cracker shape? Right then, onto a rack and in the oven at 60 Celsius for four to six hours. We want to dry these completely. They want to be brittle. And if you have a dehydrator, use a dehydrator. And here we are. I think it was five hours actually, quite spooky, halfway between. You can see they're um, Oh, you can hear, they're brittle. <laughs> and these prawn cracker 
chips, crisps if you like. They'll store for quite a while. I wanted to get a few cooked now just to uh, try them out. Get your oil up to 170, 180 Celsius and just put a few in at a time. Like with any hot oil, lower them in gently. And this was quick, believe me. Toss them around a bit, get them coated. And as soon as they float, they're almost done. I'll tell you what, adding the baking powder really helped with this batch. It made them a lot puffier, a lot um, crispier, if you like. like. Almost like quavers if you're in the UK. Now yeah, scoop them out. Shake them off a bit and onto some absorbent paper. In my case, in a bowl. And you can hear how crisp these are now. So, it's over to Steve for the taste test. Okay then, here we go, taste test. Prawn crackers, homemade. Mmm. Yeah. I've got to say, there's a lot of faff making them, but they are nice. Guys, mm. might have a few with tomorrow's meal. Mm, hang on, right, actually. Yeah, oh, another one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right, stop, stop, stop. Take care, guys.